Is we in this bitch? <laughs> is we in service? You already know. <sighs> What's the deal? It's King Dog, baby. You no, know, we, we, we flying in the Amazon or somewhere. Oh. We flying in the Amazon. <coughs> yeah. You know, hold on. You know, I got my sermon. I got my sermon today. See, y'all, I ain't come to play. I, I don't never come to play. This, this, this mango, this fresh mango straight out the tree. I went to uh, Jamaica to get it. That's enough of the mango. You made it another Sunday service. You should be thankful, nigga, that you living and breathing right now. Cause you could be dead. You could be dead. Ain't no get no word than that. And the reason why, cause then you can't do what the hell you can do while you living. But let's get get straight into the sermon. First off, next time. I tell you some shit about some topics, nigga. Just, just say something. You feel me? It ain't gotta be nothing deep. Say something. Don't be, don't be on, don't be on my story. Looking and watching. I need participation. You feel me? I mean, I thought we was cooler than that. I thought we established something better than that. But you know what? If it's fuck me, then it's fuck you. But listen. We gon' we gonna get straight into the point of it. See, understand what I'm saying before I even get off into the sermon. Let me scratch my neck. Do your thing, nigga. <laughs> and listen, listen, understand, I ain't no teacher. I ain't trying to teach you shit, bitch. I'm simply the messenger. You go find your own goddamn information and shit. You know what I mean? So get into it. Straight to it. As far as overthinking. Motherfucking. You don't want to be overthinking. You ain't trying to be overthinking. I'm about to get straight to it. First, you must learn how to think properly. You must understand that your thoughts is like a train. A locomotion has a particular path and a determined destination. You feel me? Once the train starts, it's hard to stop that mug. You know? But the thing is, when you start overthinking, say it's a particular thought, event, or idea, you ain't got no path, you have no destination, the object or your thought is stuck, is stagnated. It ain't going nowhere, right? So you you stuck on the thought, nigga. It could be your past failures hindering you from doing something else, past relationships, past whatever the fuck you going through that's having you stuck on that thought. Right? But you must learn to identify. As soon as you had that thought or whenever that thought comes, you ain't thinking it all the time. But when you get in your head, when you start overthinking on this particular thought, it's a chamber of thoughts that's going on top of that. You must identify with that root thought that's causing you to think that shit and staying on it. You know what I mean? But once you're able to identify what it is, you must understand what you're going to do with the thought. Your thought is supposed to be a part of action. Now, if it's nothing you can do about that thought that you overthinking on or scenario or whatever, understand and leave it alone. Fuck it. You know it don't matter. Say, for instance, you stuck in the past or you worry about the future. Understand, you couldn't do nothing about neither nor. But, right now, see, understand what I'm saying? The fibers of the past is already constructed. You can't change that. 
And in the future, you can't predict that. But you forge that path with the things that you do today, your present, man. Hold on, man, cause I'm on this bitch. I'm cutting up. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm cutting up on her yet. But when you got so much bullshit on your mind, you not learning how to think properly. You want your thoughts to be straight to the point. You want to go to the bathroom. I got to use it. You go pee, flush the toilet, whatever. You do the things necessary. It don't take much thought. So why do it take much thought for all these other actions or ideas that you got in your mind? The thing is, it should take that much thought. That's what a plan is for. That's what goals are for. Steps to get to the goals, right? So once you're doing all them things, it's a correlation of a mass thing. You know what I mean? But you stuck on the thought of it. You stuck in your head on it. You need to get to the physical aspect of it. You need to be doing. You need to actually have action. And if it's some bullshit like you mad because a, a motherfucking duck ran off with your kids. Understand you can't change that. That happened then. Yeah, you wish you could have stopped the duck. Yeah, you wish you was more protecting on your kids or whatever. But it's happened and it's over with. You got to let go. And understand there's more to it. More to it and do it, but that ain't even we talk about overthinking. Stop thinking on them wrong things. Learn how to think properly. That is the key to not overthink. You gotta understand, you know, you learn how to think, goddamn it, you control the world. I'm learning how to think, you know what I mean? Putting it now. I ain't no master thought man. Shit. <coughs> Fuck wrong truck. But you gotta understand the simple power in your thoughts itself. See, I ain't gonna get on that right now. Cause you, you got you, you, you don't understand yet. See, understand by you just looking out and the perception of life dictate where you wanna go. I'm gonna be a multi billionaire tycoon on a super yacht. 30 bad bitches and some dolphins. Cause I think it. And I'ma do the things to get to it. I'm focused. You gotta stay focused, determined. All that shit. Stop being railroaded by that bull stuff. You gotta understand. It's a lot of stuff to distract you. Now, let me not get ahead, cause I did make a whole nother point on another topic in the day on sermon. You feel me? Sometimes I just like to hear myself talk that shit because I really be talking with the substance so you need to hear it. Understand, I'm the messenger. The information, we already got it on the collective conscious level. I showed you the video on all the universe and all that shit. So you don't think we connected? Man, listen. Because I'm a loser. I know I am. You ain't there yet. But it's all good. A video that I recommend <clears throat> for you to particularly study and just listen to this shit. I listen to this every day. It's only 30 minutes. You feel me? And these is the summarized. You feel me? Meditation book. He wrote like 50,000 words. It's, it's summarized 4,000. It's a YouTube audio. You ain't even got to read with your illiterate ass. And it's Marcus Aurelius Meditation Summarized. And it's gonna make that shit so deep. It ain't even deep. It's, it's, it's just 100,000 pounds. Who Marcus Aurelius? He a motherfucker that ran um, Rome. But the fact he was a philosopher, he philosophized some shit. And you just gotta get it. But I'm just on that thought before we go into the next thought or the next topic. Is just learn how to think properly, man. You feel me? We're gonna give me 30 seconds to breathe. Give me 30 seconds to breathe, damn. Eat mango or something. Get you on. There's Mother Day.
I should have bought a beverage. Alright. Next topic <clears throat> for today's sermon is the mind on drugs. My mind on drugs. See, understand, I've been smoking weed chronically for seven years straight. And out of them seven years, I probably haven't smoked 36 days. I, I literally, I probably, I've, I've counted. Like everybody else, I assume you originally started, it was just, you feel me, kicking it, getting high, it's fun and all that shit. And it'll be that. But I noticed, and I particularly, I remember it like it was yesterday. I had a calendar where on I marked the days that I smoked. And particularly, I wouldn't smoke chronically when I first started. I smoke every day, not every day, every here and there, every three days, five, five, or whatever the case may be. But on this calendar, I say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to X this bitch out. I decided I was going to smoke 30 days, 30, damn, I'm stuttering and stuff, 30 days straight. For educational purposes, I suppose. <laughs> And, I, and, I, and immediately I noticed a significant change with the relationship I had with smoking weed, my thoughts, and just my, a lot of shit. Let me not get it here. Where I, where I leave off at? See, soon as I did it 30 days, it became a habit. It became a, that calendar was X'd out all the time. I, it was a habitual thing I did now. It was, it, in a way, my body adapted and became like something I needed or wanted. I wouldn't say needed. You ain't, you know, it, it's weed. You don't really need no weed. But in my mind, I'm like, nigga, I'm trying to get high. And it wasn't because, you no, know, oh, I'm going to get high and whatever. It's when I had that free time on that shit, I just did Whatever the case may be. But look, 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 look. Also, I noticed that cognitively, you know, I wasn't as sharp as far as like with just talking that shit or just thinking. You know, my thoughts was unsporat, un locomotively. You know, shit was just bouncing in whatever case. I was high. <laughs> you feel me? So, my visualization also, visualizing in my head, imagining. That was hindered as well. That was reduced. So, you know, doing studies and whatnot, when it comes to find out, you know, smoke and read, shrink your frontal cortex. That's your front part of your brain. brain. And that's probably why, you know, that's what come with uh, your speaking and all that, your thinking, how you thinking, how you react, your emotionals, and all that shit that come with that. And what it also does is shrinks the white, Brain, brain tissue for the gray, gray brain matter. Why am I? I must be that mango. That bitch got me spluttering and blingling and blingling and blingling. But uh, and I've told y'all that just so you can know that was like my experiment with just weed, with what I know from it so far. Do I think weed bad? Hell, fuck no. Or oh, none of that. It's just something you need to do in moderation. If you're not smoking every day, don't start smoking every day. Then you're going to be a motherfucker that smoke every day. But I'm about to get back onto it. Just a few couple days ago, whatever day, how many days? It wasn't a couple though, I'll tell you that. I stopped smoking like a few days just to see if it would increase my productivity. I feel like I wasn't productive enough. I get high when I'm like, shit, fuck it. You know what I mean? And it did. It not only did it increase my pro productivity, I did shit more productively. You know what I mean? I was more intuitive though. This is what I gotta do, I'm doing it and doing it. But the thing is, with just my brain, I just be, I be gone. I be needing to love, like my shit be gone. So, in the time, when the day, in the day, when I say I had free time on my hand and where you would typically be bored. I would want to fill it with getting high and smoking because that's one, that's what I always do, shit. I'm going to get blasted. But what I realized, I say, you know what? Because this is part of the study of uh, the Marcus Aureliella shit that you need to get on. I say, you know what? That ain't nothing but my, my body and my desires controlling me. 
I'm simply letting my body dictate what I need to do. Yeah, my body need to eat, drink water, and go to sleep. It don't need to smoke weed. It don't need to bust a nut. It don't need to, to get drunk. It don't need to, to do some bullshit or whatever the case may be you doing. It don't need them things, right? But after you start having them things, you want them things, you consider your desire a necessity. And then that's how you become a slave to the shit you want. Instead of dictating how you gonna handle your life, you become a slave to your body. Understand that your mind control the body, not the body control the mind. The body is sending you signals like, hey nigga, I'm hungry. All right, that's cool, but it's on your mind to go get a McDonald's Big Mac turkey back or go get you a goddamn salad with some bean sprouts and shit. It's the mind. See, you understand, you can control all that shit with your mind, but as far as the mind on drugs, I understand that your life itself, just living in the hood, you in survival mode. You got to do some shit you probably don't want to do. So, you know, once you get out of that zone or area, you need to motherfucking escape the fact that you got to do some shit you don't want to do. And you put it on the drug. See, understand what I'm saying? Learn to be, I got to learn to be more disciplined. You got to learn to be more disciplined. And, I, and just to show y'all, big motherfucker, I ain't smoking seven days. You feel me? I'm documenting shit on TikTok. Fuck it, nigga. If you want to keep up with it, get up on it on TikTok. King Dolphin 617. But you must become more disciplined, man, if you want to be better. If not, you can just stay a slave to your desires. And what's that's going to inevitably lead you down the path where you just really hating yourself. Because once you become a slave to your desires, that's all you want to do is the shit that make you feel good. And that ain't what life is about. It ain't about feeling good all the time. It's about feeling good with shit going south and bad. Shit blew up. Earth halfway split in half and you good like these. That's what it's about. But you must take away something that you comfortable with. And then learn that you don't need it. You know what I mean? Y'all need no bed to sleep. Y'all need them, them big ass fluffy pillows. Y'all need a car to get to your destination. That's a lie. You need a car to get to your destination. But you can still get there to that bitch without having a car is what I'm saying. It's a lot of shit you can go without and realize that you don't need to have it. That's what I'm saying. The mind on drugs. Once you get it in your system, now you think you gotta have it. The sugar, we be drinking all type of sugary shit, eating sugary shit. What's the benefit of having sugar? You know what I mean? I be eating sugar and shit, all that shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm not exempt from these things. I'm telling you what the fuck going on. But, like the Navy SEALs, man. They get new recruits. Send they ass to hell week. They go is to strip down everything that you got to your bed and break it. Make your ass quit. Nine times out of ten, most people quit. Because they can't handle it. It's too goddamn much for that ass. They can't deal with it, right? So they do. They leave. But for the ones that achieve the ones that stick down, stay down, knowing that they can die. Some people do die during Navy SEAL training. But what I'm saying is, motherfucker, it's because of their determination, willpower, and mind. That takes strength. Your body fucked up. In order to separate that, you got to learn that your mind stronger than the body. That's what the Marines and the Army try to teach. That's what they teach all their soldiers, making them monsters. So what the fuck? If you see that's what they're doing to the soldiers, motherfucker, be a soldier. Learn to control, dictate your mind. I'm not smoking. I, I don't know. I'm high. I said I'm high right now. You feel me? I ain't smoking no more. I might not just smoke ever again. I don't know. But I ain't smoking for a week and they paid it on TikTok. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with smoking weed. But understand, everything must be done in moderation. Nah, man. Nah, when it comes to bigger and heavier drugs, 
That's a different topic. Because honestly, mm, life different. I can't speak from no perspective of no crack kid. <laughs> or no heroin addict, no meth head. You know? That's a different type of addiction. That shit like, you gonna die, you don't get that shit. Like heroin addict shit, even Perker says. Niggas be fucked up off them purse without having them purse. Like if you heavy on them, you know what I mean? Now that shit got a grip on you, you can't eat shit without popping a perk or drinking some juice. You feel me? All that bullshit, man. Why would you want to go through that just to live life? You know, just to be content with life. But that's another topic. This what I want to say. <laughs> we all can shine, nigga. You got to accept life by living life. Are you grateful? Do you recognize that you blessed like you really... If you alive, even if you fucked up, nigga, you could be more fucked up than somebody. Like, it it, it can be worse. So why not just look at that good? I ain't saying it's good all the time, but shit, it's good when shit fucked up. It be good when shit fucked up. You feel me? Shit be good when shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You don't get it, you ain't got it. What I was, what I was about to say. I know I touched on this shit last week, I'ma do it again. But from the jump, just straight up on some life, life don't have any purpose. Life don't have no real meaning or you supposed you see, nigga, life meaning is you fuck, you live, fuck, and die. Reproduce is what I mean, fuck, not just having sex. But all that extra bullshit you supposed to experience and have flowers and all that shit, the universe or God is indifferent to any of that shit. You motherfucking God or the universe, I was speaking like that. Matter of fact, bitch, it's in the universe. Because God, I can't speak for God. You feel me? I can speak for the universe. Bitch, because I am. I am the. You know what I mean? I am. You know what I mean? But that's something else. But universe don't give a fuck if you a goddamn CEO, Fortune 500, or, or, or fast food manager. Understand, it's not based off your occupation, but it's based off of who you are and the characterization that you stand for. But other than that, you defy reality. But me saying the universe don't give a fuck is me saying like it don't give a fuck if it rock your motherfucking world. That's some you shit. You know what I mean? That's you. You give a fuck about that. You give a fuck if how they people uh, think about you. You give a fuck if you eating good. And you give a fuck. God don't give a fuck. But if you do it right, he motherfucking already gave you all the shit and tools. He looking at your ass like this, but that's what he want to do. He ain't looking at you with no shame. If you doing evil, God love you the same as if you doing good. Understand, you can't separate that shit. He just see you want to utilize the other side of the spectrum. Because it's always two, motherfucker. You got the masculine, the feminine, the yin, and the yang, and the right and the wrong, good and evil. It's one or two, nigga. Hot and cold, nigga. See, understand, it's two sides, but it's the same thing. God is all that, the hydrogenous energy, all of us in one. See, understand, so why would he give a fuck if you doing right or wrong? He made the right or wrong. You need to give a fuck if you do right or wrong. You need to give a fuck if you a Fortune 500 CEO or bus driver. You need to give a fuck how you treat yourself. You need to give a fuck about your life and your reality. That's what it's about. Ain't about none of that other the Gucci bullshit, that hoochie coochie shit. You really think motherfucking angels and shit, God shit in your path and all that, man. Shit happening, life happening. It be good, it be bad, but it's perception on how you perceiving this shit, nigga. I'm dropping bombs, motherfucker. But in order to live, my personal experience, I think just simply doing shit that you never done before. Or doing the things that you like to do. But in order to find that, you got to do it the first time, the initial time. You can't let your thoughts stop you from going to doing some shit. 
Say for instance, it's a sushi bar and they got some eel sushi. You like, what the fuck? That shit is nasty than a motherfucker. But you don't know unless you try it. Me personally, I don't like eel sushi. That shit, I don't know what the fuck type of texture or eel. That shit be all. It be the. I don't know, eel, that shit different. But you might like eel sushi. You could go off my review of it and have a predermitation like that shit nasty. But you ain't gonna know until you try. You ain't gonna know that bitch like you until you want you talk to her. You ain't gonna know you can get that money until you try to do what it take to get that money. You not gonna know shit unless you try. And then once you try, you ain't gonna know what you wanna do to it to do better or leave it alone. If it's for you or not for you. See, understand what I'm saying. You ain't gonna like that, man. <laughs> you gotta give shit a chance, man. You gotta give shit a chance. And, and shit, that's what it's about. Don't take yourself out the game. Don't don't tell yourself no. Don't tell yourself no. Let the coach take you out the game. Let the referee give you a technical foul. Let the motherfucking opponent team break your ankles, take you out the game. Don't take yourself out the game. And for you simple motherfuckers, what I mean is, man, don't let no one else dictate your trajectory. If it's something you want to do, don't be having it in your head like they might say no. And you stop, no, nigga. Just because they might say no, you don't know. They might say yeah. You got to try. And you, you got to do. You got to try. You got to get out your head. Try that shit. Do that shit. This is living life, man. You know what I mean? Even they say, for instance, like for when I first was there, I moving out your mama house. We don't know what the fuck going to happen. You don't want to be fucked up. You don't want to live like whatever. You don't know. The only way you gonna know what happened is until you do it. And once you do it, that's when you gonna know. But you gotta have uh, enough faith and belief in yourself to do that shit. That's SW shit right there. That's all I'm saying. But other than that, you must say fuck it and embrace it. You got too much care. I got to care. I used to care a lot. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I want what's best for me. And I'm going to put me before you. And every time. Why would I? Like, fuck it. You know what I mean, bitch? And I'm breathing. Each breath I take, I'm getting closer to death. I ain't got time to be giving my breath to other motherfuckers. Giving my... Best energy, no. I'm calculating with the shit. I've been blocking bitches on the gram. I've been blocking bitches out of my life. Nah, because I'm on another level. It's like, shit, if you ain't going to do everything I want to the exact the dimensions of what I want to fuck, that's like if a motherfucker, you hire some motherfuckers to put some shit in your house or put a porch in your yard. You tell them you want it eight feet, they put the bitch 30 feet. What you going to do? You going to fire their ass. So why would you sit up here settle from that from some bullshit with your friends? Your friends, you want friends that do this, but your friends doing that, then fire their ass. You want a bitch that do this, but your bitch doing that, fire that bitch. You gotta fire people out your life. Understand your life is a business. Motherfucker, you the company and the employees is the people you have around your shit. Cause the only way you fit, man, listen, I've been giving too much game on this bitch. This King Dolphin. I'm gonna just eat some mango to the motherfucking camera cut off. Now look, you see how scripted I wrote a lot. I wrote this shit down, right? You see how how I just was getting on that shit. Don't play with me. Understand the last sermon. A lot of that shit was off my head. See, you understand, I really don't. I be, I be, I be showing y'all 3%. Damn. I be showing y'all 3% of my power. You feel me? So, understand, I ain't even hit my full power yet. Truth be told, I'm just getting started.